Zippo is all about culture. There is a culture of playing to win. We call it what is called intent and intensity of action. Every action is measured in terms of intent and intensity of action, not just on result. Cultivating a winning culture is paramount, but every action doesn't necessarily need to be purely focused on the outcomes. Celebrating successes, navigating challenges, and especially learning from losses fosters both resilience and growth. Of course you lose, but it's it's a team sport. It's fun, it is tough, but winning it together or playing it together, even losing it together it's fun. Welcome to Grit and Growth from the Stanford Graduate School of Business, the podcast where Africa and South Asia's intrepid entrepreneurs share their trials and triumphs with insights from Stanford faculty and global experts on how to tackle challenges and grow your business. I'm your host, Darius Teeter, the Executive Director of Stanford Seed. For all the CEOs and founders who are listening, Stanford Seed will soon be accepting applications for the 2025 class of the Seed Transformation Program. This 10-month intensive program will start in January, and it includes a combination of face-to-face teaching, networking, and virtual learning. Founders and CEOs of companies based in Sub-Saharan Africa, South Asia, and Indonesia, with annual revenue of at least $300,000, are eligible to apply. To learn more, please visit stanfordseed.co forward slash apply. Today, we bring you another installment of our series of short takes, bite-sized stories of amazing entrepreneurs like Raj Prakash, the co-founder of Zippo. We are a science-first, people-first company. We are technology, informatics, data services for science. Zippo is one of the largest global pure play science informatics companies with over 1,800 employees. Zippo focuses on the technology for collecting and analyzing data for the inference and findings that lead to basic scientific discovery and ultimately to new products. It all happens in the scientific space. Labs, experiments, clinical research, and variety of this environment. Zippo's technology has been instrumental to the development of medications and vaccines for global viruses and illness. We have done close to two dozen initiatives helping variety of COVID initiatives, vaccines, therapeutic candidates. These successes derive from their early decision to bring in a broader set of skills aligned with their customers' unique needs. India has a lot of technology services companies. They're all generalist. Science is a specialized area. Technology, as a generalist, people are really focused on order-taking, instruction-driven work. You're not really closer to the problem. It is about once the problem is defined, it's about executing the solution. We want to be closer to the problem. Defining a problem is complex. We have fantastic people who are bilingual in nature. They speak the language of science as well as technology. So they reduce the frustration for the scientists to interact with them. This approach has really paid off. Today, they work closely with many of the largest global biopharma companies. We're talking about drug discovery programs, which are multi-billion dollar programs, high value programs, high intensity things, data confidentiality, criticality, IPs being involved. We showed the persistence and tenacity. We're just lucky to. Raj is downplaying the intentionality that went into building Zippo's thriving culture. It's a people-driven mechanism that encourages persistence and tenacity to get results. There's a culture of playing to win. We call it what is called intent and intensity of action. Every action is measured in terms of intent and intensity of action, not just on result. You play to win, of course you lose, but it's, it's a team sport. It's fun, it is tough, but winning it together or playing it together, even losing it together, it's fun. We want to be a place which is highly valued as a great place to work. We have listed as one of the great places to work for seven consecutive years. Our trust index has been more than 85% consistently year on year. 
Team engagement and empowerment are prerequisites for revenue growth. But Raj has a broader definition of what it means to grow. It's just not revenue. It is a <coughs> multi-dimensional way. So even when we worked on our goals and transformational plan, it is quantitative in some level. It's a lot qualitative. Nobody looks at how do you really optimize in terms of inward looking, contracting things. It is all about how do you expand. By growth, it is about opportunity to people, opportunity to expose self. It's doing something impactful. Many times over, Zippo has been recognized as one of India's fastest growing companies, working across research and development in multiple verticals, including pharma, biotech, chemicals, and even oil and gas. Since 2019, when Raj and his co-founder Vanshi participated in the seed transformation program, Zippo has grown their revenues more than fivefold. I mentioned at the outset that we'll be accepting applications to the seed transformation program starting this month. So let's hear from Raj about how the program impacted him and Vanshi. We are roughly one-tenth of what we are today. As founders, I mean, none of us had any formal B-school education. We have been all like in a tribal way, experiment everything, iterating and making it happen. Books and listening to individuals has been our education. A seed is an composite, comprehensive program for people like us who never had a formal a business education, business management education. It gave us the lingo, it gave us methodology, it gave us templates, and a great set of people. It also helped us to benchmark in some of our business practices. In fact, we realized there are certain things we do it really, really good in terms of culture and people. If not for seed, I don't think we would have even had this appreciation. Raj also highlighted the power of networking in his cohort. We would have done business with at least a dozen seed companies. So it's almost like pre-qualified, trustful relationship where you can easily go and engage, both give and take. It's so powerful. I'd like to thank Raj for sharing his story as well as his experience within the Seed Transformation Program. Raj's story exemplifies the power of a growth mindset to drive business performance and make a positive global impact. Erica Amoake Ajay and VN Virgin researched and developed content for this episode. Kendra Gladich is our production coordinator, and our executive producer is Tiffany Steves. With writing and production from Nathan Tower and sound design and mixing by Ben Cranell at Lower Street Media. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Darius Teeter. We'll be back soon with another episode.